Hi, good morning. Good morning from a field in North Dakota. Joey and I have made a crucial mistake. <laughs> we have a Sunday morning and we set up on a goose loaf. So for those of you who don't know, you cannot shoot geese on Wednesdays or Sundays in North Dakota. Yeah, and we just didn't know until just like 20 minutes ago. I forgot. I forgot is what it was. Now we could have gone and shot a huge mallard feed with Carter from SmackDown and we said, you know what? Smack him. What did I say? Smackdown. Smackdown. Oops. Smackdown. WWE Smackdown. And uh, we messed up. We did not go with him and his girlfriend. And instead, we decided to do just a two-man shoot for video. <laughs> and uh, hopefully some mallards show up, not just geese. There were a few mallards in here yesterday. It, yeah. was like, it was like 30. And we messaged Wade, yes, if we were hunting. And we said, yeah, send up on a goose loaf. Luckily, we can't shoot any geese today. There was 30 mallards here. And he said, that's 20 more than you need. So... What's really good though is it's a hundred yard walk. Can't can't drive in the field, but it's a cool little grass um, grass loafing pond thing, surrounded by a field. And I love the way you're I'm so this. I'm so mad right now. Yeah, Joey's just so buttered he can't get out words. It's gonna be fine, guys. We're gonna have fun. We'll shoot a few birds. It's gonna be a good time. Maybe we'll go we'll go smack them. Maybe maybe we'll go and and blast. Them. We'll see. Stay tuned. It's gonna be a fun video either way. We'll we'll find out. The drama is set in. What? 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 So Cal and I are getting a little cold and antsy, so we were going to go and jump these geese on the back, big part of the slough, but they jumped off, but I'm sure there's still a couple of ducks on there. So in order to warm up, we're going to walk around and see if we can't kill a few of those ducks. I bet you there's still some ducks sitting on there, but I'll know here in a second. Thought we had more cover going up to the jump. Did not. And the property line ended pretty quick that we have permission on. So we just kicked them off and uh, made it so that they can't pull in other birds. So didn't shoot anything, but still accomplished something. So, so yeah. Let's go get stuff up. Got teal buzzing our decoys. Get out, maybe we've had 10 ducks come even remotely near us all morning. And then the second we leave, of course, ducks come buzzing in. Just dumb. It makes me feel dumb, you know? I feel dumb. That's what you get though for being impatient and cold. Let's see if I can't smack the teal real quick. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're right there. Teal, yeah. Get him, bud. Go get him. Good job, bud. No skunk. No skunk. Guys, I feel like such a blue player right now. Over here? Yeah. I just feel like a blue player right now. <laughs> Look how shallow this is. Doesn't even go above my ankle. All the way across. All the way across. Didn't you see her retrieving it? Yeah. Here. <laughs> Pigeons. Right over where we were sitting. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
is hilarious. Man, all these mallards have some ice on their heads. It's cold, folks. It is a cold one. This is what you gotta do sometimes. You gotta switch it up mid-hunt. Hopefully this works for us. When you see all the ducks landing up in here, and you're short, you're getting, they're just going further than us. So might as well push up there. You know what I mean? It's one of those things where you'd rather give yourself the best opportunity than getting screwed the rest of the day. Trying the same thing multiple times is clinically insane or however the sailing thing goes. I'm trying to do the same thing over and over again and getting a, a different outcome. I don't know, I'm butchering it, but moving our two dozen dive bomb floaters and two lucky ducks and five dozen silhouettes to this shoreline instead. I mean, literally all the water is not even to the top of my boot. So like, why wouldn't we make the switch, you know? Just seems dumb not to. So, we got ducks in the air. We gotta move, we gotta move quick. Okay, that's what the new one looks like. Cal sent some stills on the bank like we've been seeing them doing. Mallard floaters, lucky ducks. I threw some on the opposing shoreline that's only like 20 yards out. Oh, man, it's a lot of work. It's definitely one way to warm up, though. Goodness. Take them. Nice shot. That one's hurt. Oh yeah. Kill him. <laughs> hey, man. Is that in the grass? Yeah. Hey, man. What's up? Let's go, buddy. <laughs> What are those? Those are widgeon. I only had one shell the first round. How does that keep happening to me? Oh, I didn't reload after the teal. Uh oh. Oh, man. We got all three of those. Yep. <laughs> oh, two behind us. Two behind us. You got go. <laughs> She's got one she left on the shore, I think. Yeah, yep. Come on, Riley. Bring him here. Ooh, nice Drake cotton top. Drop it. Good girl. Ken Gadwall. Ken Gadwall on a Drake cotton top. Good girl, bud. Come on in. Good, way down. Let me see that cock tap. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Beautiful. I love it. We like it, this. Yeah, I sure do. Well, the new spot paid off, bud. The new spot did. Immediately. Pay off. 100%. <laughs> Immediately. I'm very glad we moved. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Right, go get him.
Thank you. That's what we need, boys. Single Drake Mallard. Dumping. Literally perfect. Needed a little bit of convincing. Bring him here, bud. Bring him here. Come on. Good girl. Still a little alive, but and no blanditos. Get in here. Come on. Thank you. Beautiful. But it's much better today already. So Since hard. that move, dude. Since the move. Dude, I was sketched about that move. I honestly had no idea. Like, we saw them all there yesterday, so I was just, I don't know. In my head, I was like, they're going to, why would they not go back to the same spot? But just, we, we were screwed this morning because we kept watching them come here. So, with the day we had yesterday, we figured what could go wrong. Right. <laughs> Couldn't get much worse than well, yesterday. We, so. drove, we drove out to North Dakota to shoot nothing. Hmm. <coughs> but no, skunks out of the bag. We got two Widgeon, Hen Gadwall, a Drake Mallard, and a uh, Green Wing Teal. Nice little mixed bag of October. Yeah. And we're going to eat good. We're going to eat good. Got a whole lot of geese coming back to loaf. I'm going to take the pass shot if we get it. Let's let them land. Lay down. Glasses. <laughs> Oh yeah. Couple lessers. Right Good job, bud. Good girl. Heck yeah. <laughs> little cackler. Let me see. Lesser. It. Oh. Good job, bud. Let's go get that other one. Go get him, bud. Heck yeah, dude. Nice group of four lessers comes in. Good job, buddy. Bring them here. I shot two of them. Bring them here. Come on. Bring them here. I shot two of them. Heck yeah, dude. Good girl. Drop. Man, he's a little guy. I want to say it's a cackler just because I'm from Minnesota, but I'm pretty sure it's just a lesser. And he's got a little neck, a little tiny baby head. Heck yeah, dude. Woo! Heck yeah, bro. Dude, I bet you, if we didn't have those spinners going, yeah. we could have decoyed a lot more of those. Oh yeah. But I don't know if those would I've got even... the one on a remote, but. I don't know if, uh... I mean, those just like glided. Right. 20 yards to the right of us. I actually do it, do it. I don't think but so. But they were just, they were in my 20 yard range. <sighs> Tell you what, bud, it's working. It's working, dude. I it's working. I'm so glad we moved. <laughs> I'm so glad we moved. Sun's right in our face. Thank God I brought these sunglasses at the start of the year and put them in my bag and forgot about them till right now. Joey has left to take his second poop in the morning. Something's going on with him, you know? Oh, bowel movements. It's not ideal in the blind. But uh, bring your toilet paper, bring your dude wipes, or a wipe or something. And don't be that nasty guy that doesn't wash or wipe your hands when you're done, dude. Oh. Nice shot. Get him, bud. Where is he over here? Yeah, he's right here. Oh, he's here. Very nice. You said don't get up, right? Yeah. Okay. Nice. 
Yeah, because I was going to shoot over your head. Nice shooting, partner. And just like that, the midday lull is over. Dun dun. There you be. Give us a strap update, Cal. Strap update right now. We've got, what's on this side? How many we got in here? One, two, three, four, five ducks. Does that sound right? Yeah, we're missing one. Here, five ducks, two little geese. Nice. And you're looking stellar in those glasses. There. <laughs> These are my safety glasses for work. And raining Thank bands. You, and raining bands, dude. I keep wanting to peel last second, dude. I don't know why. Well, when we call the shot and we stand up, <laughs> they kind of just fall into the wind pretty quickly. I, I don't know. I think it's a lot of wind. You think it's a lot of wind? Yeah, it's a lot of wind. Because <clears throat> it feels like the right shot call. Breaking down, I mean, dude, when they're out, when they're up 30, 40 yards, dude, and they got to lose 30, 40 yards in like 50 to 100 yards. Yeah. They hit a 25, 30 mile an hour gust in the face. They're gone. Yeah. I was going to say, it doesn't feel like the wrong shot call, but maybe my depth perception is off. Oh, we got two Canadas up there. We had a good day. We had fun. Drake Widgeon. Teal. Penn Gadwall. Drake Mallard. Another teal. Yep. And then two of those little lessers. Two little that, geese. That we as Minnesotans would call cacklers, but they're not. They're lessers. But they're pretty small nonetheless. So, to wrap it up, that was a really fun hunt. Really good. A little bit too much work. But, in my mind, paid off. Yeah, we had fun, for sure. You guys, thank you so much for watching. Hold on. You guys, if you like this video, like Joey already said, make sure that you like and subscribe. That helps us out a lot. Check out our podcast, the Midwest Flyways Podcast, where we talk about all things duck and goose hunting. And we will see you guys on the next one. Joe, I was going to say one more thing.